Good morning and welcome to Carnation Crafts. We are live from the Carnation Crafts TV studio. Lovely to have your company as always. And we are bringing you the gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Bohemian Beauty Collection, which I just think is excessively gorgeous. Uh, I have got you on my laptop in front of me, so if you've got any comments, please do let me know and I will say hello to you um, as we go through the show. So what we're gonna do is have a look at the main collection and we'll go through it and go through all of the boards so you can see it. We'll look at some finished samples so you can see those and then we'll go through everything and start some demos, which is very exciting. So the main collection, the full collection, you can get on the Carnation Crafts website, which is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. Uh, Number for it is 220502. If you're somebody like me who cannot remember numbers at all, then please do just type in Bohemian Beauty and it'll come up there. You can buy the full collection. The show price is $119.99. Please, please, please do remember to use the code from your newsletter. That's going to give you a 10% discount on that on top of that, which is brilliant. And just to let you know that that code will change over at midnight tonight for next month. So that should um, just to keep you posted. So postage and packing. Uh, in the UK, that's going to be free. If you are outside the UK and you buy the whole collection, that's going to be $4.95. If you're going to buy that and a pack of perfect papers, it will be $14.95. You can pay on clear pay, you can pay on paper pay in three. So you've got options. We have also got a breakdown for you of all the individuals, so you can have a look at all of those and see what savings you're getting. You are getting a saving of £48.94 today if you buy the uh, full collection with your discount code, which is a whacking great big saving, which we like a lot. Just a shout out while I'm here, uh, the number 220504 is the Bohemian Florals on their own. And the reason I'm shouting it out is because it sold like bilio when we took this on Create and Craft. So if you want to get ahead and that's something that you want to buy on an individual, that's the one to put in your basket. And just to repeat, that number is 220504. So shall we have a look at the, first of all, I'm gonna to go to the light work daisies, if that's okay. So this is, I'll show you the board for it and I'll show you the actual die. I'll do that one first, because this is an individual. So it's separate to the main bundle. So I'll just give it a quick nod and we can have a look at it and then you can decide. So this one is absolutely stunning. The number for it is 220510. It's really clever. You're gonna see it in demo this morning. Um, it's super, super pretty. I'm just gonna try and find a sample with it on so you get some idea of it. Just bear with me. I've got them sitting next to me because I'm very organized human. Right, so I'm gonna knock all of this off. Miss Taz, Miss Taz, we're gonna have a disaster. So what the light work floral is, the light work day, isn't it pretty? So it comes in die form. And if I bring the die over so you can see the back of it, the way it works, we've got an outside die here, and that is gonna be your card base, if you like. It's gonna make a lovely, lovely card base. And then you've got your mats and layers, but this piece inside is your light work, and they're interchangeable. So you can use this piece on its own, and it will create this gorgeous skeleton. And you can cut that in any color you want, obviously. Kim says, hello, hi, Carla, and Miss Taz. Hello, Kim. Kim. <laughs> That's Miss Taz, Taz in the background. She is still here, I promise. We keep her locked in here, it's easier. And then you've got this lovely piece here. Now this, you would need the outside die for, and that's gonna cut this for you. Then you can put this light work on top of here. It fits exactly so you get this really gorgeous piece in. And it's beautiful in like a gold or in pinks, that sort of thing. On its own, as it stands, when we see these gorgeous samples, you've got the lovely piece here. So it works as this gorgeous background. It's really pretty. But the other thing we can do with that, which I really love, is that we can use it sort of as a mixed media piece and you can use it to kind of stencil through. So if we look at the background of this, I mean, this card's so pretty, isn't it? But you can see how it's been used here as a background 
So there's loads of different playways with it, which I, you know, it's always a thing, isn't it? When we're buying something, we want to be able to get the most out of it. And I love the fact that we get loads of ways to play. Mr. So Taz. I'm keeping an eye on YouTube. Okay. Viv has said, lovely to see you this morning. She got her collection last week and she's absolutely loving it. Hey, that's wonderful, Viv. Thank you. And it is, I, I mean, I'm always saying that I'm falling in love with, um, carnation dies I always do but there's something about this spoke to me and I think it's the colorway I'll be honest it just really is the most glorious thing let me just see who's here and then we'll say a quick hello and then I'll get on with the boards hello Joyce hi Linda flashing my eyes at my husband when I get home from the craft shop yeah absolutely for your stool birthday next week hi Alison hi Deborah hi Sheila hi Karen Hi Suzanne, lovely sunny Winchester. Crafting on my birthday, massive happy birthday Suzanne. Uh, it's flushing all over the place here. Uh, good morning Deirdre. I hope I've mentioned everyone. Linda, good morning. Hopefully I have mentioned everyone who's commented. So that's your Lightwork Daisy background. Just to repeat, the uh, number that you need for that is 220510. I'll put that one back over there. Right, let's put this board down. Well, I'm gonna hope that Taz doesn't make me do the boards again because otherwise I'm gonna fall off my chair. Right, now we're gonna have a look at this main card shape and it is an absolute corker. This, just on its own, if I move it slightly so you get a better view of it. Good morning, Mags. This is so dynamic. There are so many ways of playing with this. Now, in and of itself, it makes up this shape here. So you get this beautiful box shape and there's loads of elements that you can add to it. It's so pretty, isn't it? So it's a full box that does fold flat for posting. So it's really gorgeous, doing loads. Uh, watching you on the bus going to Bury St Edmunds. <laughs> Well, that's very exciting, Linda. I quite like the fact that you're taking me to Bury St Edmunds this morning. That's very lovely. You've got this gorgeous shape here. So we're cutting this main card base. We've got these little doors that open and close. Gorgeous shadow work. Then you've got the little panel here that's like a stained glass. And I love the idea of filling that with different colours, you know, piecing it together. I just think it would be super pretty. Then you've got your extra elements. This is a piece of absolute genius. So you've got these sort of trophy shapes and you can stamp on them, do all of that with them and they really pop out. They're really pretty. You've got the sentiment and you've got this piece here that it's sitting on and that creates a little box to sit inside and then you've got the two little strips so you can put those inside the box and they will fold and that means you can put flowers and things on so it becomes a pop-up card when they open it. It's so pretty. I mean, this is just a corker of a card shape. Carnation don't fail, do they? It is always lovely. Good morning, Elizabeth. Then we've got, and I've got to say this carefully because they kept picking me up on television because I, th I, it's called Boho Bits. I said very carefully, Boho Bits. Just in case anybody thinks I've said something else. Uh, that You've got this gorgeous bottle, you've got this beautiful feather, those gorgeous crystals, and then you've got these beautiful sticks, so to speak. So when you turn them around, you pop them behind the bottle, it becomes like a diffuser. It's really, really pretty, but you can use them for other things. They could sort of make a great teepee shape. They're those background elements, aren't they? Hey, Sheila, how you doing? Are you having a lovely morning? Um, so these are all your elements that, that build up that card and make it look just finished and gorgeous and beautiful and that's what we want and those colourways are so pretty. Remember to print on ProPrint, it will change the game for you. Then we've got this wee girl, she's so, <laughs> she's so cute. Morning Nina, how you doing? Um, and she's very, very gorgeous and this is so clever. So the way Nick's designed it, if you just pull on that sleeve just a little bit, it's got split marks in it. So you can choose to put her in the dress or not. Isn't that so cute? So she, she has a little dress. And now I am putting it out there that I want Nick to create a full little wardrobe with some little coat hangers. So she can have like, I just think that would be so sweet, wouldn't it? To have this little wardrobe of clothes that she can have little outfit changes for. I think it's such a cute idea. But she's lovely whether or not she has the dress on or not. She's just a super cute character. But because she has the dress, 
if you use her without, it looks like two separate mice all, to, all together. And because we've got those mirrored vignettes that we use with Carnation, you can have them facing each other. You can create this really lovely scene. So I really like her a lot. Hello, Susan. Are you all right? Sheila's no work today and rain has stopped. We like that a lot. The rain has not stopped here. It's been pelting it down this morning. Then we have got these, which are beautiful and I love them so much. It's that it's that impact, isn't it? I just, I love the way he's done it. It folds around the shoulders so she can sit proud or it can sit proud. You've got this beautiful little bag. Now, a really cute thing with this little bag is you can actually use it on the mouse to create a little dress for the mouse as well. So you can have them dressed separately. Then you've got all your gems, which are really lovely for filling in those extra pieces and they can look like they're coming out of that jewelry bag. So it's that gorgeous opulence, isn't it? Really, really pretty. Love it, love it, love it. We move on, to, here we go. So this is why this sold out so fast because you can see just by looking at it, oh my word, that flew and there is obvious reason why. Look at the impact of that. Crazy gorgeous, right? Something so, so pretty about that. All of them can be shaped and pulled out and made into the most beautiful things. These, I'm in love with these colors so much. This board speaks to me in so many ways. Just looking at that is just the most glorious buildup of color and shape and dynamic wowness, which is not even a word, but I'm using it. I love it. And you can see that on some of these, you have those extra dies at the back so you can create cards just from those. It's just so pretty. You've got all those extra elements to add those florals in. I'm not surprised it sold out on, on Crate and Craft. I think it's probably going to go again. It is the, probably, as far as I'm concerned, certainly in my opinion, it's probably the most impactful set of dies that Carnation have released in one little bundle. It is so in your face stunning. So that's the boho florals. Then we've got the chunky knit. I love this. The chunky knit is just really cute. It's one of those that's not the most impactful when you look at it, but it's absolutely impactful when you see it on cards because it's that background and we need that texture. We need textures all the time. You can put two or three of these together. They will line up absolutely. We can cut them in half. You can cut little elements off them and just use the tassels at the bottom, for instance. It is an absolute boon of a die because you're going to be able to do so many things with it. Love it, love it, love it. So that is your chunky knit. You can see it's a massive collection, isn't it? It's huge. All those florals as well. The full collection is so heaped. It's brilliant. And then you've got this. I love this. She's such a showstopper. That on any card, that gorgeous dove. She is going to make any card you make just knock out absolutely knockout she's beautiful and it's that element of play where you get i mean when you see her in inside here so it's almost like you've got this gorgeous victorian bird cage so suddenly we've gone from having you know this box frame as being you know a shop front or it can be it's got the key and have the little box inside it and have the gorgeous bust on top of that or we can have this as like a little bird cage. It, it's just so pretty. This whole collection just really sings to me in such a beautiful way. She's my last one on the boards and super, super gorgeous. She is too. This is, I honestly think it's one of their best. I fell in love with it so heartily, you know, when I was looking at it. As always with Carnation, you're going to get the perfect papers which match absolutely into it. And your perfect papers are a whole, um, what are you saying to me, Miss Taz? 20% is that of the whole collection of the florals? No, the of the whole collection is gone already. Okay, yeah, okay, 20% is already gone. So just to let you know, keep you posted. Um, Mary, I ordered the floral dyes yesterday, so waiting with baited. Hey, they, Mary, they might get to you today, you know. You might get them today. Those florals, honestly, I genuinely think just some, I could look at that board all day. When I first saw that board, I was like, what did they do? What did they do? It's amazing. Right, so yes, those perfect papers. Beautiful, beautiful to have to own because they match in so perfectly with the collections. As you all know, if you've ordered from Carnation before, you're always going to have that perfect partner 
for them. They're not papers, they are 300 GSM. They create the most gorgeous mats and layers. We can use them for other things too. I would be reluctant to use them for construction because they do not have a colored core. So they're white on the back, they are colored on the front. So if you score them too heavily, then you are gonna get that line, that white line between. So that's just a word to the wise, but for your mats and layers and for your different elements, they are beautiful. They cut beautifully with the dies as well. They go through like butter, you get that gorgeous beveled edge and they are super pretty. So they're $14.99, it's $2.95 UK P, uh, P, P for those. And if you want to buy those in the US, just to let you know that they are going to be $4.95 for your main collection for shipping and handling. If you want to put a pack of those papers in, that's gonna be $14.95. You can swap them. If you don't want the perfect papers, but you want uh, some smooth cardstock or you want a pro print, you can swap it, but you need to put a message when you purchase it. So it will look like you're purchasing the perfect papers but put a little note in the box saying, can you swap it for something else? And they will for one of the other paper packs and they'll do that for you. So that is that bit of business done. So Carnation Crafts, for those of you who have never been here before, for those of you who are brand new to it, where do you get the artwork from? Well, the artworks are called vignettes and they are completely free to you. And they are on the Carnation Crafts website, which is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. And you go to downloads, free downloads, and then on the right hand side, you'll see collections, choose Bohemian Beauty. You can get all of the collections in there, but choose Bohemian Beauty and you'll scroll through and you'll see, you'll get the um, a full collection of um vignettes there to download. All you do is, you so you can see there it says Carnation Crafts Bohemian Beauty Collection Original Colorway Download in the, it's the third one in, and that is the full set of vignettes for this. You'll also see that you can get the back in papers download there free as well. Pop them all into your uh, basket. You can see the inserts just below. So you're getting back in papers, inserts, and those vignettes for free. When you put them in your basket and you do go to checkout, it will download to your computer. And once it's on your computer, you just literally double click it or right click it and put open with Adobe and you print them out. Try and print them on ProPint, it makes a huge difference. And once you've printed them out, um, you'll be able to cut them with your dies. When you go through them, some of them will have, um, they'll just have pictures on and the others will have pictures with a black line going across. The ones that have a black line going across are mirrored vignettes and that means we get to have a, an image on both sides of that uh, die cut that you've got. You fold it on the black line, spray glue on the inside, pop a die on top and pop it through your machine and it'll come out and the image will be on both sides, which is super, super clever. I'm just gonna peel this off this board next to me. This is not from this collection, but it means I can show you what a, a, a mirrored vignette is. So you've got this beautiful kingfisher. And then if I turn this over, you will then see that it is colored on the other side as well. That's a mirrored vignette. It just gives you that aspect to have color on both sides of your uh, finished die pieces. Sorry, that was from a different collection. Also a very beautiful collection, I have to say. Um, what questions have we got? Uh, Annette, do they do the mouse and dress on their own? Yeah, absolutely. That can go in as an individual. So the individuals are all available there. She is called the Free Spirit die set and she is there for $12.99, I believe. And she is 220509. So you can absolutely buy all of these on their own. Uh, you don't have to buy them as a full set. You can buy individuals. Uh, and my producer mouthing something at me, but I can't understand her sign language. Demo. You want me to go to demo? Is that what you're saying? Okay. She's telling me it's time to demo. Um, so I'm supposed to be able to lip read better than that, but you know, I don't have my glasses on and it's hard to see. So we're gonna have a look at that main card shape. What I want to do first is just look at the ways in which we can play with it before I go full on demo mode. So I'm just gonna put these over here so you can see what we're doing. And I just wanna just have a look at that card shape for you, just so you can see some of these samples because they're super pretty. Now we've seen those ones. One of the way of using the card shapes, as you've seen, is that box. I love this because it's all done in acetate. Isn't that so pretty? Look at that as a card. Look at that. I mean, how stoked would you be if you got that as a card? Done with acetate, all of that detailing on it, that chunky knit. Isn't it pretty, the chunky knit? I love it. So then what we can also do with that one card shape, 
pretty, right? Super pretty. You could have florals coming from here as well so they pop up when you open it. That's that one card shape. Just add a piece of card into sections on the front and you'll get that beautiful dynamic piece. Another use for that card shape, the, the cut-ins. Use that die to cut in for the door piece and then you've got this gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful piece here with all of those elements. Isn't she pretty? I do love her. She's so sweet. And then we've got different uh, elements going on here now. So I'm just going to show you a few of these and then I'm going to start demoing. That gorgeous trophy piece from the main card shape, free spirit in her dress, those bohemian florals and that gorgeous chunky knit at the back. Just so pretty. The light work daisy. Can you see how this has got the skeleton on top of it? So it looks almost like it's embossed. Isn't it pretty? That's the light work. It's so lovely. And I love how, because it looks like um, broidery anglais. There's something really, really pretty. And that has just been put on as an extra piece at the front to make that card base. So lovely. And again, I love this. I love the impact of that. Sort of piecing it together. So, so gorgeous. That again, that light, uh, daisy, light work daisy background set. Just so much impact on all of this. The chunky knit. I really wanted you to see this one, that chunking it. See how it just goes in the background. It's not your showstopper, but it's important. It adds such a lovely element to the back of your card. That gorgeous bird. And again, that daisy light work coming through here. I love it. I absolutely love it. And then again, those massive colors there, yeah. that beautiful cacophony of colors with these beautiful florals, those florals. I'm never gonna stop saying how much I love those florals. Wowzers. And then just using your light work, you've got that gorgeous, gorgeous floral going through. So pretty. I mean, that's a lovely bookmark, right? Just gorgeous. Again, remember, you can use that as a mixed media piece so you could stamp through it as we saw on that other card. So you can use it in loads of ways. Get your acetate out. Get your vellums out. Um, if you look on the Carnation Crafts website, they've got acetate, they've got vellum and you can use them obviously to, to make all of these things. They sell mylar so you could actually cut this and make a stencil out of it. Everything that you need is on their website. So they've got so much on there. There's the acetate. Um, Taz has just found it. 9.99. The acetate from Carnation is quite thick. It's 100 micron so it's, it's really lovely to work with. You can score it um, so that makes all the difference. And Michelle says, wow, I've just placed an order and already it's marked as shipped. Amazing work from them. Yeah, I know. Uh, Yvonne, love it, love it, love it. You know, um, I'm always slightly baffled by Carnation. So I'll ring them and say to them, oh, I need such and such send in. And they're like, right, you are. And I'm always thinking like it, it'll be like two or three days before I get. It's always there the next day. They're so good. <laughs> but it's quite frightening because I think they expect me to be that bad. Sorry guys, I'm not. Right, let's demo, because why wouldn't we? Find all my bits and bats here. Find my, I'm having trouble with my pokey tool, Taz. I found it. So I'm using an eight by eight here. What I want to do is show you one way to use that major card shape. Now I'm gonna make one of the boxes. I've got cat hair on here, I apologize. Miss Phyllis has uh, brought half of herself with me. Um, one of the things that I want to show you is the main box shape that this card makes, but I'm going to do that in the next show, which is on at three o'clock this afternoon, um, because I want to show you a different way on here. Uh, Kim, what's the spray called for sticking the papers down? You mean the spray for the mirrored vignettes, Kim, because you can use any uh, adhesive spray. I use, I think it's called 3M Mount Spray. Um, but any spray is fine. Um, just one a top tip, make sure you're spraying either in a bin liner or on a, in a cardboard box so that it, it retains the adhesive within that space because otherwise everything gets sticky all around you. So uh, it can be a pain if you don't sort of box it in. So yeah, I, I think the one I use is called 3M Mount Spray um, and it lasts me for ages because you only need a tiny bit. It's just to make sure you've got that stuck. So I've cut two pieces of eight by eight here. As always, we have scored at half an inch on this one and we've got some red liner tape there and that's gonna be obviously our base for our card. So always fold it away from yourself here uh, or towards yourself if you like, and you need to keep it that way. We're gonna take this off. This is your back and this is your front, if I can get hold of it. 
and we're going to shuffle the two together. So by having that towards my body and keeping it away from this piece, I can move it around and about until I've got it exactly where I want it to be before I commit to any stick. Once I've got them shuffled together and I know they're absolute, I can push that against my mat and I can use my fingers to just push that down. That gives me a great card base, a tent base already done. Don't need to think anything more about it. It's finished and sorted. Now, my bats and layers. So on this one, you know I always love my uh, depth and shape on this. I've got a piece of adhesive stuck. Oh, it's been a day, it's been a day. So you can see here, I've got this gorgeous backing papers here. This is one of the pro papers, uh, sorry, the uh, perfect papers that sit in here. And then I've used another piece of white card on here because I want the white space. I love my white space. I think it's important on a lot of the cards that we make that you grant yourself that space to work with. And I'm just gonna take these off and create my tabs. And so we go half and half. And I leave the central panel just as it is. It's only there to st support and stabilize. And all I'm gonna do is butt that up onto my mat so I know it's stable and it's not gonna move. And then I'm gonna use that yellow slip and slide I've got here and I'm gonna place this down there. Hold and push. Alison says, what's the difference between the perfect papers and the backing papers for download? Good question. The perfect papers are, um, it's kind of a smooth card stock and it's kind of glossy. Um, the backing papers are printed papers, so they've got um, an actual design on the papers. The idea being then you can, I'm trying to see if I've got, this has got a bit of a, can you see this? The pattern on here, that's a backing paper. That is a perfect paper. So that's your difference. Perfect papers, backing papers. Your backing papers have got patterns. They're color pitched. Now, if you look at this feather that I've got here, can you see this on the florals at the back? It's on that, per that paper. Do you see it? It's mirrored. So it's there and it's on there. So all of the designs that come in the collection that you're using are used to create those backing papers. Uh, the elements are placed onto the backing paper so everything comes together. So it's all there. Uh, Alison says, oh, coloured cardstock you mean? Okay, so the coloured cardstock that you get on the website is a free download. They are the same as the perfect papers, uh, but they're there for you to print. So it's different. So you're not gonna get that smooth finish. You're not gonna get that glossy finish with them. Uh, you'll get that printed edge that you would get normally and you won't get it to an, an exact color that you would get the perfect papers because it depends on your printer. It depends what paper you print on, that kind of thing. So it won't be as exact, but it is there for you to use if you want them. They are absolutely there for you to use if you want them. It's just a different finish, isn't it? What I've done here is those window, look at this, those windows, the door that you get, I've cut at the bottom and it's not particularly straight because I'm gonna cover it, but you've got the elements to use. So that square box that we get in that made card shape, all I've done is just cut it in half. You can see I've used those elements and just cut it along and I've cut one off. And that just gives me these three beautiful windows that I can use, which I really love. So I'm gonna take these off and I'm just gonna place, I'm not gonna to worry too much about the middle ones, they're there for support. And I'll just place them down. Am I about right, Taz, because I can't look over? Mm -hmm. That's about straight. Yeah. It's very useful to have some eyes and ears on the camera in front of me. So you can see it raises up and I get my shadow. Always love my shadow play. You know that that's such a massive element for me. Shadows are just awesome things to play with. Then I'm gonna take my Lightwork Daisy, which I love so much. I've cut that in Miri in gold. Isn't it pretty? Beautiful, isn't it? It's got that gorgeous, gorgeous, um, I don't know, it's something really dramatic about it. And then it pieces in with this piece around the window. So I've just used that one element. I don't want to overflow it too much with the gold. So just enough to create that balance and that element. 
I'm going to place it slightly further down because I'm going to put some florals in and I want the florals to kind of intervene and play. What I've done with this light work, if you can, I don't know if you can see from the top here, I'm using a three millimeter and a five millimeter foam tape. So I've got eight millimeters. Ridiculous as it sounds, I could have used two fives to create a 10 millimeter. I don't want it to be, you know, insanely high. Eight millimeters was fine for me for the purpose of this. So I'm just gonna take these off. I'm getting all stuck to it. And I'm just gonna place it about here and that shadow play is going to come in because we've built the height with those foam pads. Place it around about there. Already, that is just so gorgeous already. There's something really peaceful about that and I, I just, yeah, I'm in love with this collection. But let's not leave it there. So I'm using some of the everyday glue that Carnation have got. And I don't talk about the glue very often because it is kind of a tongue in cheek thing because it's got the days of the week in. You get seven bottles and so they put the days of the week in. The reason I use this and it's it's a really good glue. It's Adhesives are important when we're making cards, aren't we? The reason this one works for me so well is it has a tiny bit of wiggle room in it so it stays wet long enough for me to be able to move things around and that's important but then it dries quickly and that's important because if you're making something you don't want it falling off but I also know that because the content of PVA and water is balanced perfectly it means that you get a really good stick with a very tiny amount and I mean a tiny dot of glue it will stick and that's important too because you know from previous demos where I've always spoken to you about glue and needing very little you shouldn't put too much glue on if you can get away with it you need to put on the least you can get away with and so I use this because it's so strong like it's a really good adhesive and then the little applicators that come with it if you've got applicators at home uh, do use them it's got this tiny tiny little um, fuzzy on it you can just see here and so the ones that they used to have used to have a little ball on the end of it but it's too big for carnation because carnation stuff is so delicate and tiny so they changed them up and they've got these gorgeous little ones here now and that means I can get tiny amounts of glue where I need them and that's important so let's piece oh, Look at those colours on that florals. Those florals are the best thing ever. Uh, and just to reiterate, they're 220504. Mark did ring this morning. I did ask him how many they had in stock because it just went nuts last time. Now, what I'm doing here is just piecing some glue on here. I don't really know where it's gonna land at this point. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue on so I can work out where the rest of my placement would be before I go too far. So I can move it and I can wiggle it. And what I'm gonna do, I think I'll piece it straight in the center of here and place it down. Now I'm just going to hold that down and let it stick and now you know I've got it into place and then I can start molding where I want it to be. I'm not shaping these ones out there my background pieces and I don't tend to for want of a better way of phrasing it um, kind of waste my time um, shaping out my background pieces because they're just there as backgrounds. So I'm just going to just glue those two little leaves together so they're placed. And what I don't really want to do is seal it here. I want that flow, but I do need to lay it down at the bottom. So I'm just gonna spread a little bit of glue here and place and hold, and ho hopefully that'll catch. If not, I can add glue under this section. I don't want the top leaf to stick. I'm quite adamant about that. Let me just place, she says pulling it all out. Now I've got it. I don't want it to stick so I'm just going to find a place for that to sit down because I want this one to stay with that flow but I've got to get the rest stuck down otherwise it's all going to fall forward so it's just about finding your placements and then I'm going to go in same at the other side it's mirrored so I can absolutely mirror what I've done so I can have it the same way and it creates that really beautiful I don't know, because the leaves are sitting inside that window, there's that really lovely symmetry about it, isn't there? So we're gonna go in here again, glue just on this bit, just so I can find my foot in. First of all, pop that through the other side, find my foot in, get it placed, so I know those leaves are shaping out around there. 
before I do anything else. Once I've got that done, glue these two together, just overlapping so it stabilizes it, just like so. And then I'm gonna place some glue just underneath. I'll pop a little bit there as well. And then hopefully that will stay, she says. I did a USB show on uh, Create and Craft <laughs> and the second one I did at nine o'clock at night, I had one of those moments where literally everything that could go did go wrong uh, and it was quite the show. I couldn't find the end of my washi tape, it just wouldn't come off. The machine that they had uh, wouldn't cut through, the blade wasn't working, but it was just one of those shows where, and you have them sometimes uh, and they're, you know, it's just part and parcel of what we do, but good Lord, it was, carnage by the end of it so we're hoping this one isn't like that is all I'm saying I'm just going to press that down get some leverage on that stick so it goes down now if I take my hands away from there that gold bringing in with that pink and those greens are just isn't that just delicious so pretty love it love it love it right let's not stop there though let's add in some gorgeous feathers now for this I am going to use some glue down the back and I'm just gonna put the big, big strip on. Now, I've gone from telling you not to use much glue and now I'm using glue along the whole of this strip. The reason I'm using it is because obviously we have the holes in here around the edge and so I need it to land somewhere. So I'm just gonna place, now rather than trying to work out where that glue needs to land, I can literally place, hold, and it'll catch somewhere along that light work. And because I'm not seeing the back of the light work, that's absolutely fine. And then I'm going to do the same on this side with that feather. And I'm using my mirrored vignette so I can copy that image. And I'm just, again, gluing along that edge. Go in at this side, weaving those florals in. Make sure it's matching roughly edge to edge. Got that there. Then I'm going to come in with these. I love these. These are really, really beautiful, these pieces, and they're elongated with that gorgeous flow, so you can really go to town with them. Now for these, I'm gonna glue all the way down the stem, and it's probably not gonna hit all the way on the glue because of the holes in the light work, and that's fine. I just need to make sure I can get some stick. And I'm just gonna go in through that central point there, raise it through, and lay it down. So it just curves to that window. Super pretty. Same again. I do love my symmetry. Hello, Serenity, how you doing? Lovely to hear from you. Sadly, I can't have YouTube and Facebook. So if anybody's watching on YouTube, I do apologize if I'm not saying hello to you. It's not, I'm not being rude. I can't see both, I'm afraid. I'm just gonna pop this in here over that leaf, lay it flat, and just that gorgeous flow that comes, isn't it pretty? And those colors, those florals are just incredible. Now we shape. So I'm gonna take this floral, those colors, so pretty. Ball tools, so choose your ball tool wisely. Uh, I should have four, I've only got three for some reason. I'm gonna blame Dawn Wheeler, cause she was in here last time. <laughs> I think I love it more because I can't afford it today and everyone enjoy theirs. Oh, Stacey, thank you for being lovely to everyone though. Now, when we're breaking down the fibres of the paper with a ball tool, I've said it before, but I'll say it every time, we work from the outside because we need to break the fibres before we go to the inside. And these have got cut lines in them, so it will specifically give to what you're doing. So I'm just going to go this around and around on that edge and then I'm gonna to go to the center. Right round, take the leaves, take the smaller end of the ball tool and I'll just give them a little bit of shaping there just to shape it out. And then a little bit in that center again. Now these florals are done to perfection. You can see where all those cut lines give to allow me to shape and mold Should you ball tool the edges and then the middle? Yes. The reason being is 
when you have a piece of paper, it's a solid and that solid is created by woven fibers. So when we say GSM, that's actually grams per square meter, and that is woven, those fibers. Fibers are all sort of intertwined, and we've got to break them. Um, so every single piece of paper that you come across is made up of tiny fibers. You've got to break those fibers. If I take a piece of paper, just standard paper, I don't think I've got any here, but if I take a piece of standard paper and I just put a ball tool in the center of it, uh, it would be the best example. Miss Taz is going to get me a piece of paper by the looks of it. So this is just a quick side note. This is all to do with your sculpting and why sculpting is a really beautiful thing. If I take a piece of paper and I put a ball tool straight into the centre of it here. I'll take the big piece. Put it in here and I just go straight into the centre. What you're going to get is a ton of creasing around the edges. It's not going to, it's not going to play nicely. You can see. All it's done is creased it's made a mess in the center of my piece of paper and it doesn't matter how, how gently i do that or how hard i do that it's going to get that same creasing effect because none of the fibers are broken around it they're still solid and because they're so, there's no give there's literally no give in that piece of paper at all if i go from the outside and i break those fibers around the outside first they're going to give so as i work my way to the center it will all give and i'll get a really beautiful dome shape and that's the difference between um you know you that's that's why your ball tools are so important the reason that they are ball tools as opposed to squares or anything you know fine pointed is because that curve will just dome those papers so work your way from the outside and work in and do it as a spiral kind of thing, but work your edge first. And sometimes I'll go around my edge piece maybe three or four times before I ever start going to the center. However, that being said, if all you wanted was a little dome on the inside, you know, you just wanted to raise the inside of this, then you would start in the center and you would just use your ball tool here. But again, you're gonna work in a little round and around and around. Um, Better late than never high kill. Hey Fiona, how you doing? Uh, I used other paper and when I used ball tool, it was all white from paper from underneath. Use pro paper and what a difference. Yeah, pro paper is um, without a shadow of a doubt, the best thing on the market. Like I say it again and again and again. I was so against using um, pro print because I just thought it was a scam and, and until I started using it, but the color is incredible. We're going to go in here with a load of pin flare and I'm going to really work this up to quite a height because I want it to sit beautifully on there. So when I turn this over, you might or might not, if I can catch the light, be able to see how high that is. I've created quite a, a dome effect. So you can see that leveling there as it sits. And that's just really to create that dome. Don't push it down because if you push it down, you're going to lose everything that you've just done. I'll place it this way. Just push that straight to the center. I'm not smushing it. If I smush it, all of that pin flare is just gonna squeal out. So all I'm doing is very gently with my finger, just tapping it into the place that I want it to be. And you've created the most glorious kind of church window scene with this beautiful cacophony of color at the bottom of it. Those florals are to die for. 220504, if that's all you're going for, those florals. They are just beautiful. Um, how do I know when to use foam tape or pin flare? Good question. There isn't a right or wrong answer to it, actually. It's to do with personal preference. Obviously, if I was using mats and layers, that's always going to be foam tape. Um, if I'm using um, elements such as the light work here and that's just to build up and I want that to be stable. That has got to be supported all the way across it. That's always going to be foam tape too. Something like this, I personally am nearly always, I would say 90% of the time, going to opt for pin flare. The reason being is because I've got wiggle room with it, I can play around with it, I can move it, but also because it's going to just dry solid. And what that means is because it's slightly liquid, I've spent all that time sculpting it. If I stick a foam pad underneath that and then I put it in the post, it's going to get crushed a little bit unless I put it in a box. But the likelihood is it's going to get a slight crushing. And when I've done that on a foam pad, because the foam pad is solid, and it is a solid piece that's going to sort of crush in the shape of that foam pad. That's why I don't really love foam pads. I'm not a massive fan of them. Um, 
I still use them, so don't get me wrong, I do still use them, but I'm not, I'm not a massive fan of them. Um, with Pin Flare, that's gonna level slightly. And what it's gonna do is go to the shape of my floral. If I leave that 24 hours, that's gonna set like cement. It is gonna be absolutely like cement. So I know that because I've domed the Pin Flare, when that goes in the post, the worst that's going to happen is it's going to get crushed in the shape of that dome, which is what I want. That's what I set out to do. That's why I've done the sculpting. So nothing, nothing remiss is going to come of that. It's going to be as I wanted it to be. So that's why I always opt for pin flare, because you've got, you know, the double edge of it, a setting like cement, but also that I can use it to, to build and shape with. Uh, and it just works for me, but it's personal preference. So, you know, I, I'm not suggesting that everybody does the same thing. It's just my preference. Um, have I got time for another demo, Miss Taz? Mm -hmm. So we'll go in for a second one, just to give you a uh, little recap on the main bundle, because I know, um, it's been going like bilio this morning. Um, so yeah, it is 119.99. That's the show price for it. But if you've signed up for the newsletter, please do put in uh, your code. You're going to get 10% off that. And that will take you down to 107.99. That's a saving of 40, it's nearly 50 quid, 48.94. That's a heck of a saving. Um, so do please use your discount, it is important. Great thing about Carnation Crafts, if you buy that today, as somebody has already pointed out, they will have that packaged and in the post to you today if you are buying in this um, show, three o'clock this afternoon, possibly would be in the post but it might not arrive tomorrow but you are more than likely going to receive it tomorrow if you buy it today obviously there's factors but if you buy it this morning gorgeous gorgeous collection as you know beautiful beautiful stuff we're going to have a look at that gorgeous little mouse because I love her very very much so let's go in and have a look at this my husband stuck two tiles together to see how it hold and they were rock solid. Pin filler is, I, I literally, I've just stuck all, because I'm a lazy, lazy, lazy person. And when I uh, moved and I had to build a billion uh, flat packs and I started to lose the will to live and handles on things were just driving me insane. So I kind of half did it and they all fell off. And uh, so I just pin flared them all onto all of my doors. They're all pin flared on, works treat. None of my door handles fall off anymore. It's very useful. Uh, right, so card bases, same as we did before. And I'm just going to pull forward on that. Remember, keep it towards your body. Place the other in front, shuffle, bot it up against something, push it down. Card base done. Mats and layers. So, perfect papers. And then those pattern papers, look how they blend. And they're so pretty together. Something so lovely about them. This one kind of reminds me of um, like a lake. It's got that beautiful water color to it, which I really like. So we're going in here, tabs. Tabs again. You all right, Miss Taz? You're very quiet today in the corner. I don't speak unless I'm spoken to nowadays. Is that <laughs> Miss, Miss Taz is trying to kidnap or catnap my cat. No, your cat wants to go with me. Are you sure? She loves me. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take away those two pieces there. And again, create your tabs. So you see all the feather work come in here and that's from those florals. So everything blends and comes together. I love these two colors together. So this is a one mil foam tape because I am piecing it all flat. Not too worried about shadow play on this, but even with a one mil, you'll get a little bit of shadow play. I never use um, figure lift tape on these. I will always use at least a one mil foam tape because I do love that little lift. Somebody's saying, do you have a dog color? I do, I have a beautiful, beautiful, um, king german shepherd so he's bigger than a normal german shepherd and he's called cornelius and he's the most handsome wee chap um but unfortunately i'm not allowed to have him in this house so my mum has him at the minute uh which is sad uh but i do still get to see him all the time um but he is my absolute soulmate 
had some interaction from YouTube. Hey! Judy's commented. Hey, Judy. Hi, Carla and crew. Just purchased the dies. Beautiful as usual. Great demos. Best company in the world. Yes. No one can beat your dies. And I think you're absolutely right. You know what I love about that is because... Um, it's really important that it's recognised how hard Carnation works. And that sounds silly because it's, you know, you, you, I'm not saying you should feel sorry for them or anything like that. It's just the fact that they want you to get the best. And I love that. And I love the quality of everything. And it's a real pleasure to demonstrate with it. Because believe me, I've demonstrated for things in the past where the quality has not been there. So to be able to to do it with ease every time and know that I'm selling something that is so worthwhile. That's a real boon, isn't it? It's such a pleasure to have. Uh, Heidi said she's got a white German Shepherd called Heidi. Well, Cornelius' mm, dad, Stanley, it was a white German Shepherd. Very beautiful. He was too. Donna's also commented she's watching us from Australia. <gasps> oh, her from Australia. That's exciting. Who was that that commented? Donna. Donna, I didn't know if it was my sister because she sometimes comments because she's in, um, where is she? My brain's gone. Coffs Harbour in New South Wales is where she is. I had a little moment there. The squirrels came in. You all know how it goes. I'm just going to place this gorgeous feather in a curve around my card. Now I've put glue to about towards the centre and then I've stopped because I want the flow but I want to make sure it's stuck. So I've got glue on the center. All of these pieces, these sort of little fronds, still raise. The center spine has been stuck, but only to about halfway. And then I get that beautiful movement. I think, I think I can safely say I am so smitten with these florals. Uh, and you're probably all bored of me saying it, but I'm going to carry on saying it anyway, because I think they're the most gorgeous things. Let's place all of these in here so you can see what I'm going to be working with and we will go forward with them. Let's place these in that same curvature. Let's put a little bit there. I'm going to stick these two together again. I don't know why, but I like them stuck together. So I'm just placing them, but it's a choice. And then I'm just going to place a tiny bit of glue, not too much, just at the bottom of there, just a little pip. And I'm going to leave that leaf hanging over. And I'm following that curvature of the feather. So we're going in a round that way. Just to build it up. Add in some of these beautiful, I love these, these purples. I think the florals may have stolen my heart away from the garden chatter from Fine Serenity that I love. Which is the... Uh, watering can with the blackbirds on that I love so much but I think these florals might have pipped it that's a big thing for me to say Miss Taz Donna's commented back <laughs> uh, she's bought carnation craft dyes and family and friends are always amazed at how beautiful the artwork is she's in Melbourne oh we like I know that the artwork's amazing right that's the, that's the thing, isn't it? If you've got an in-house artist who's creating all of the artwork for the pieces you know it's going to be good you know because it's all going to match, it's all going to go together, it's all going to work. I'm not sure what Miss Taz put on the board there, but I'm going to just uh, pretend I didn't see it. How does that sound? Right. I'm going to come in with this feather. Where shall I place the feather? Round. I don't want to take up too much of the colour. I don't want the colour to disappear. Let's bring that round with that leaf. <laughs> I'm not actually going to tell you what she wrote on that piece of paper because it ended with an absolute insult. Stunning artwork. Is there a Christmas set or USB out in the summer? Yes. <gasps> Am I not allowed to say that? Well, you have now. So it's a little secret because I'm going to get into trouble. For saying, I am going to get into trouble for saying this. I don't care. I got them. I've received the dies for them. I know what they look like. I've seen this year's Christmas collection. It's pretty damn beautiful. You're gonna love it. Just so you know. I did not say that on air. No one can prove it. Let's tuck that in here. <laughs> it is really pretty, the Christmas collection. Well, of course it is. Uh, Christmas is always in June for crafters. So there's a little hint for you. 
Christmas is always in June. And I will say no more before I get shot. My watch will be buzzing in a minute with the boss. <laughs> we just ignore it. It's fine. Just ignore it. Dave's going to be celebrating Christmas with us in June as well. Is Dave, is Dave, Davey B, Mr. Dave Bradford, is he coming in to celebrate Christmas with us? In June. In June. <laughs> I might make a little turkey dinner. If we're doing that. I could do that. I could make a little turkey roast dinner. Do I ask too many questions, Alison? No, there's no such thing. Jan Bird, so the Christmas collection is coming very soon. I am not saying that, Jan Bird. Yes, it is in June. No, I cannot comment. Yes, it is very soon. Right, take this further. Let's shape it. So we're going around these edges, round that spine and pulling it along. And then we're going to fold on that spine to push it round. It's got the shape for you, so use the shape to push and mould and bring it round. Can you see how that's curving because of the spine? That's paper sculpture. That's what paper sculpture is. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Just that one piece. Isn't that stunning? I love, 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 love it. Right, pin flare. I'm going to break up this colour here. And I'm going to do that just by placing this feather and I'm breaking up that color because there's a lot going on and there's too much in the center, but I want the, I want the, the noise behind the feather. That's the best way I can explain it. Loads of pin flare, fill that little space of that feather, keep it into its little sort of taco shape that we've made and place this straight in and as far down as I can get it. So it breaks up kind of the mess that was sitting at the bottom and it becomes my little showstopper because it just sits perfectly where it is. Now this little mouse, beautiful, beautiful little mouse. I want to shape her body out. Remember what we were saying about breaking that weave, breaking that fiber. So start from the edge, work around her tummy and in a spiral to the center. On her nose, I'm just pulling straight forward. And then on her ears, I want a smaller ball tool just to go in there and shape out those little ears. Same again on this one, but I want them to face each other. So this one I'm using the reverse or I'm doing it on the front if you like. So same again, work on the outside of her tummy, in around, take it there, Sheila, I'm going to be on the naughty step in June then. Yeah, but it's worth it. That naughty step's worth it. That Christmas collection is awesome. In with those ears. Pin flare, pin flare. We're going to go in here, pop some on their tongue. She's just going to be, look how cheeky she is. She's so pretty. Pin flare on this one. So they're facing each other, little noses almost touching. I'm going to take this beautiful little flower and I'm going to place some glue. This is just wet glue now. I'm not, I don't want to hide it on the flower. And I'm going to place it so this little one is holding it, if I can just get it behind her hand. Put that under her nose. And just place it there. So this one is smelling it. So cute, so cute. And then finally, we're gonna add in a little element in the top corner with those beautiful trophies just to finish off and create the diagonal going that way and this way so we've balanced out that noise that was going up that side. So I think that's we've all got time for demo wise. 
for this show, but we are going to be back at three and I'll do some other ones. I want to show you the main card shape. I want to show you how to make the box because it's really, really, really pretty and it's such a clever, clever thing. Uh, so we are going to be back at 3 p.m. Just to remind you, the code for the main collection for this one is 220502. This is the Bohemian Beauty Collection. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is a show price of 119.99 with free PMP, but please do, do uh, use your 10% discount code that'll take it down to 107.99 meaning you're making a saving of 48 pound 94 on the main collection and uh you'll probably receive it tomorrow if you're buying it now which is awesome i will be back at three taz also hopefully will be back at three otherwise we're going to have some trouble it has been amazing to spend some time with you have a really lovely lunch and i'll see you at the other side you take care till then